what is a stop limit order? So I'm on Binance.com and in this video I'm going to explain to you what a stop limit order is and how it might help you in your trading. Now a stop limit is not the same thing as a stop loss. Now if you're not sure what the limit order is, make sure to head over to the limit order video, I'll link it down below. But uh, as a short recap, the limit you select your buy or sell price which you want an order to be executed. Now the thing is with stop limit is basically what you're doing is you're saying when the price reaches a certain price, your order gets put into the order book. So. To, to, to make this maybe a little bit more easier, I'm going to go over what's here, what's written down here in this tab below. So you've got here buy and you've got your stop price. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to buy Bitcoin when it reaches a certain price. However, you won't be buying Bitcoin at the stop price. You will be buying Bitcoin at the limit price that you set. And this limit price can be, of course, much higher or much lower than the stop price. The stop price is basically just like a, a, a trigger which puts your order onto the order book. So, for example, if you've got you want to buy Bitcoin if when it's sinking and uh, you put the price at maybe nine thousand. $219.21 and as soon as the price reaches that then your order will be put into the order book however in this case I want to um, have my limit order at $9,218 as soon as the, the price reaches the level of $9,219 so as soon as the price reaches this value here then my limit order of $9,218 gets put into the order book. Before the price reaches this, no one will see my order. And that's the reason why people use the, the stop limit. They don't want their order the whole time in the order book, but only uh, as soon as the price reaches a certain level. And the same thing with uh, when you're selling Bitcoin, the stop limit order, you can also you put your stop sign here. You can, for example, set um, $9,241 and you can put the limit order at a price either higher or lower than the stop limit. And then you can also select the amount which you want to sell. So, of course, the, the biggest difference with a stop loss and a stop limit is that with the stop limit, you're using a limit order and you're not using a market order with the stop loss you're using a market order and you're uh, selling whatever you want right now for the market price and with the stop limit basically you're saying when the price reaches a certain price point then um, your order gets triggered however it's still not executed it's put into the market and then it would, might take a few moments until this order gets executed however there's also possibility that the um, stop limit the stop gets triggered your order gets put into the order book however it's not executed because the the market does not actually reach the price that you put in so uh, it might make sense to maybe put the for example if you're buying btc and the stop reaches a price of 9,241, that you put the limit order at 9,242, actually higher than the stop, to make sure that your, pri that your buy order gets executed. So that was it for stop limit orders. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below and I'll try and help you and uh, answer them. So have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.